Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make these crocheted soft balls. These ones are a little bit different in shape, but they are made essentially the same with one slight difference. And to know how to do this, it is very much easier if you know how flat circles work. So I will link a video for that below. And for a magic circle, if you need a closer look at how to do that and how to start crocheting with a magic circle. So let's get started. Like I said, we are going to start with a magic circle and we are going to chain one. And then we are going to single crochet eight times around the magic circle. When you get all eight single crochets on there, Go ahead and pull it tight and then slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet. And then again we are going to chain one and we are going to single crochet two times into the same stitch and into every stitch all the way around. When we are done with that, you can tell that we are just starting to make a flat circle of crochet. So at this point, you can either start making a ball like this one, where it is more rounded here at the top, and you can do one single crochet in every stitch around to make it start rounding itself. Or you can do it like this one, which makes it a little more flat on the top and do one more row around of making this a flat circle. It is up to you on what kind of shape you are trying to get. In my opinion, the bigger the ball that you are trying to make, the longer you go in a flat circle and then start making your ball go rounder, it does look better. If you're just doing balls like this size, it doesn't really matter in my opinion. It looks fine to start making it round early. but it is your preference. You can make a ball however you would like. In this case, I am going to do one more round of a flat circle. So I'm going to chain one and then do one double crochet in this stitch and two double crochets in the next. Then do one double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochets in the next and do that all the way around. When you get back around, you will end with the two single crochets in the same stitch and then slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet. So now is where I am going to start the rounding off of my ball. So I'm going to chain one and do one single crochet in every single stitch all the way around and then slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet. When you get back around, you can see that it is bowing a little bit. For this next round, I am going to do another round of the flat circle pattern. So I am going to do two single crochets in the first stitch, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. Then two single crochets in the next stitch, and one single crochet in the next two stitches and repeat that all the way around. When you get to the end of that round you will end with the individual stitches because we started with the double stitches so then you will slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet again. Then for this round we are going to chain one and single crochet one time into every stitch around to again round this ball off. So when you get around again you will of course slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet and chain one and I'm going to do one more round of the flattening out so I am going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches and then do two single crochets in the next stitch and do that all the way around. 
When you make it around again you will just slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet and if you want to continue making your ball bigger and wider you will continue doing this pattern of one single crochet in every stitch on the next row and then the next row after that you will continue doing the flat circle pattern and doing that until your circle is as big as you would like it to be but I am going to end my circle at this width so I am going to now do three rows of one single crochet in every single stitch round and if you are doing a bigger ball than this you might want to do more than three rows of one single crochet in every single stitch but you might just have to mess around with it and figure out what looks the best okay when you are done doing that you will of course slip stitch it all together and I instead of doing three single crochet rows I did four because that looked correct to me for this little bit bigger of a ball so now we are going to start decreasing we ended by doing two single crochets in one stitch and three single crochets in between the two together so we are going to start off with that also so we're going to do one single crochet in the first three stitches and then we are going to decrease by bringing two single crochets together and then one single crochet in the next three stitches and again bring two together and do that all the way around So if you are trying to make a symmetrical ball, which in this case I am, you are just going to want to mirror exactly what you did on the other side of the repeating single crochet rows. So I'm just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. For the next round, we are going to do two single crochets together to start off with and then do one single crochet in the next two stitches and again bring two together and do one single crochet in the next two stitches and do that all the way around okay and just like the other side of our ball we are going to do one more round of one single crochet in every single stitch all the way around and for the next round we are going to do one single crochet and then do two single crochets together and one single crochet and two single crochets together all the way around so our hole is obviously closing up fairly fast now but I'm going to do one more row and then stuff it so for this row we are going to bring two together all the way around bringing two single crochets together okay we are left with this small hole here so I'm going to pull my string out a bit so that doesn't come undone and I'm going to stuff it until I'm happy with its firmness when you are happy with the firmness of your ball you will again insert your hook and you will then do one single crochet in every single stitch around the ball when you are finished yes you will end with this slight hole if you like you can just put an extra round of single crochets in there but I just finish it off Take a yarning needle and I just go through every single stitch all the way around. And when you are done, you can weave in the end wherever you would like and cut it off. And that is it for the crochet ball. So as you can see, the one that I just made was bigger than the other two that I had previously. 
and that is because I went further out in the pattern of doing one single crochet row and then the flat circle pattern and in these ones I didn't go out so far in the flat circle pattern so as long as you understand how the flat circle pattern works and how inserting the single crochet rows in between makes the ball round then you can pretty much make anything that your little heart desires and I hope that this was helpful for you guys and if it was please give this a like and check out some of my other videos and I will see you guys in the next one